Here is a simple starter motor schematic. I have an ignition switch, which when it's turned to the start position will complete the path for these two coils down here, which are in the starter solenoid. And I also have the battery supplying through the battery positive cable to the B terminal of the solenoid. And I have this switch, which is also inside the solenoid, which when closed will allow the voltage that's at the B terminal to get over to the M terminal to create the electromagnet inside the starter motor, which will allow it to spin. When you first turn the key to the start position, there's actually two coils that get energized. But once the shifter fork moves over and the switch moves over, then we no longer need that pull-in coil. We don't need the extra electromagnet to maintain keeping that switch closed and maintain keeping the lever pulled. So what happens is we have, when we first turn the key on to start, we get both of these to energize and that would provide 12 volts here. Here would be the load and here would be the ground. I would also have 12 volts getting to this point and just about all of the voltage will get used by this coil because of the low resistance of the windings inside the starter. So we would get 12 volts here to power up this coil and both of these together will pull the switch over and move the lever by having the rod inside the solenoid get pulled in this direction. And then once this switch gets pulled over and completes the path from the B to the M terminal, now I have 12 volts on this side of the pull-in coil, but I also have 12 volts that came from the battery here that is now on this side of the pull-in coil. So because there's now 12 volts on both sides, this coil will no longer be active. But since the hold-in coil still has a ground over here, this one will remain active, which will keep this switch closed and it will keep the shifter fork pulled in the direction necessary to engage the starter drive into the flywheel. And then once you release the key from the start position back to the on position, the starter will no longer have the electromagnet here either. And then the switch will open up again and the solenoid, the rod will release back and the shifter fork will go back to its normal position, moving the starter drive gear away from the flywheel.